Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Surviving Mars, and we have, well, we're low on metals at the moment, and we have a mal malfunctioning pipe. However, the malfunctioning pipe should be repaired fairly soon. It's not good having malfunctioning pipes. It does cause us some serious issues, but there will be a drone along there to repair it shortly, so we don't need to worry about it too much. We've got drones busy unloading this one right here and stacking up a load of food. We've got food down here that is doing absolutely wonderful. Courage 1 is now refueled. Uh, advanced resources, 19 electronics. Um, milestone achieved. Milestone achieved. Marvin the Martian. Oh, first Martian born. Ah. Okay, ideal. Right, um, we need electronics. I got 29 of 30 on there, I got 30 of 30 on there. That one right there has got 19 electronics on board, so I don't want to send it back to Earth just yet. So what I will do is I'll go to storage, and we got food, we got rare metals, polymers, electronics. That one right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of storages up through there so that it's like able to be used by the depot so we've got um by the depot by the domes by the domes uh machine parts i'll put there uh, i've got electronics polymers i'll put there uh, rare metals we don't really use rare metals at the moment and i've got food elsewhere concrete i'll put metals there as well um i will put concrete in we'll, we'll do one we'll do one of all of them and then fuel I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. It doesn't seem to use... Does it use stores? Uh, yeah, it doesn't use materials to build the, um, the storage. So I think it's absolutely fine to, to do that. And we've got a load of storage there. Now they should come along and they should empty out the few electronics that we've got. So once they've done that, then we can carry on and, and do a little bit more. So I do want to just increase the speed a minute. Let them empty those out. And then we can shoot this rocket back off to Earth. And we'll be able to get some more supplies or maybe some more colonists or something. So some more something to turn up and help us out. Now, I've got a food depot sat over there. I'm not quite sure why I need a food depot over there. Um, I don't even remember building a food depot over there. Unless they've just dropped it there because that's where they happen to be. It could have been that. It could have been that they just happened to dump it Sector there. Scanned. Anomaly oh, found. We got an anomaly. All right, I will go and I will deal with the anomalies in just a minute. Five resources Breakthrough left. Breakthrough discovered. Breakthrough. Autonomous hubs. Come on. I need you to come back and just get the last of these resources a minute, and then we can go right. Let's just do that a second, and we'll go to research. So, uh, Martian patents, supportive community, emergency training. What's, uh, where, where's autonomous hubs? Not sure what autonomous hubs is. Martian patents. Uh, factory amplification. 3D machining. Robotics. Uh, compact passenger module. Passenger rockets carry 10 more colonists. Ideal. Microgravity medicine. Oh, is, is that the new hub? I, I'm not quite sure. Emergency training. Security officers and medics have plus 10 performance when working in their specialty. Supportive community lowers the risk of colonists developing sores after uh, flaws after a sanity break. That's sores, um, flaws after a sanity breakdown. Well, we'll let them carry on doing what they're doing. I'm not really. Oh, break ah uh, down here. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. Autonomous hubs. Drone hubs no longer require power or maintenance. Self-sustainable drone hubs of paramount importance. We definitely want to put that one in. I tell you what, I want that one so badly. I'm actually going to get rid of these like this and then I will go back through and I will add those in afterwards so that is the next one you may th don't worry this one up here hasn't actually lost the stuff that it does apparently if you um, cancel one and you start it again it doesn't actually lose any of the the research that was done on it right this one has got it's still got five electronics somewhere I have got anomalies right I got one there I got anomalies down there and there Let's go up here. That there is an anomaly. That right there is another anomaly. Our scans have found something interesting. Okay, so for anomalies, I it's not the RC Rover. It's the Explorer. I want the Explorer right there. And I want him to come up to there like that. He's going to go all the way up. And he's going to do that one. Now, we are still low on metals. 
This is our main priority issue at the moment, is that we're low on metals. I've still got two electronics on board, so until those two are removed from the ship, there is nothing I can do. Let's speed that up a bit. I've got one electronic on board. Where is the last drone to remove the last electronic from the ship? Is it that one? Is that the one? No, that's not the one. There he is! That's the one. He's on his way. There he goes. In he goes. He's going up the ramp. He's going to go into the ship. He's got the last electronic. Right, so now we've gotten everything away from there. He's refueled. We can send him off to Earth. Uh, let me just slow back down to normal speed a second. And uh, there, that one. Launch. Right. Initiate launch. Should be initiating. Why aren't you initiating? Did I, did I click? Activate. Initiates launch sequence for the return trip. The rocket has to be refueled. Any remaining resources on board will be lost. Oh, no, I did do it. Right. I can breathe a sigh of relief. Now then, what I do need to do today is I need to get these metals here. This is not rare metals. This is just ordinary metals. So we want production right there. A metals extractor. 12 workers. Porsche 4 per shift. Extracts metals. All extractors contaminate nearby buildings with dust. Too far from domes. Great. Apparently, I'm not going to be doing that just yet. So, I'm going to be relying rather heavily on my RC Explorer just to start with. I've got some rare metals down here. I'm wondering if that, so that's electronics, polymer, rare metals extractor. 12 people. Uh, that is, again, too far from the dome. Uh, too far. That's too far from a dome? So, i got to plonk a dome right next to it in order for it to work. This is... Um, Unexpected. I didn't realize that you had to do it that bad. And, and is there a way to... There must be like a way that you can do a shuttle or something. I don't know how it works. Right, well, never mind about that. Uh, you are RC Transport. Let's go to you. You're sat right there at the moment. Uh, you are charged. So now if we zoom out a minute, we've got uh, eight metals in that sector. Five metals up there. I've got 138 metals up here. Where's these 138 metals? Ah. Right. This is all the metals. Look, look at these great big lumps of metals. I got loads of them. Right, so if I go there, what's this? Uh, pin this item to the quick bar. Open. What does that do? Oh, I see. Right, so I can go like that, and then I can... Um, Harvested by drones or RC transport. So if I go to you, RC Explorer, you are busy doing an anomaly. RC transport right there. Select. And then I want to bring you right. Can I automate you? Can I can I create transport route? Creates an automatic transport route. Selected resource will be collected near the origin point and delivered to the destination. The route will be active until all sources are exhausted or there is no more room at the destination. Create route. Right. Set source. And then do again to set the destination. So if I set the source here. Uh, order to transport metals. And then I need to come down here. All the way over here. And there. Unload resource. I now have a programmed route for our RC Explorer. Uh, transport. RC Transport. So he should work his way up through. So that is going to get some of the metals that are way up north, which is absolutely awesome. Now we have in our dome right here, we've disabled work slots 9. I got 24 colonists in this dome. And this dome here, I've got 13 colonists. I got 4 vacant work slots. I've got three people working in the infirmary. Visitors will recover health and sanity as long as they are not starving, dehydrated, freezing, or suffocating. And then this one over here serves the finest dishes on Mars, now featuring non-plastic tableware, services, dining, social, and food. Today, lifetime 101. Inside, there are three. Uh, so I've got three people working in this one. And in here, we've got two people working on that one crop. I've got loads and loads of food, so I don't know that I actually need to have a farm in each of them. See, I got all of this. I got masses and masses of food at the moment. I'm thinking that we could do... We don't actually need to have people working in this one. Uh, I got three people working in there. 
the research center over here, I could start another shift. Because uh, the dome as a whole here, we've got uh, 24 colonists. Vacant residential slots, 18. Nine disabled work, so unemployed and looking for jobs, zero. Disabled work slots, nine. Vacant residential, so children, adults, middle-aged. Males who want children, females who want children. Vehicle battery low. Vehicle battery low. Ooh, that's not good. Breakthrough discovered. Superior pipes. Right, you. RC Explorer. Um, battery's kind of low, but... Where's the... Hmm. Can I explore that one first? I think I can. If I go there, right-click onto it. Hopefully he'll come through. Right, so we have a superior pipes breakthrough. There's another breakthrough right there. Instant and free pipe construction. Pipes do not suffer from leaks. Ideal. Okay, we'll put that one in. How will... We... Right, uh, well, let me get rid of those there, and I'll put that one in. I'll add that one in. We've got a breakthrough right there. I'm get... I think breakthroughs come from research labs. So because I've got so much food at the moment... I don't think I need to have quite so many people working on the farm. So now I've got three people working on that farm. I've got two people working on that farm. This one here, we're going to shut this one down for a minute. Um, no. Turn that shift off, and I'm not going to do anything with that one. This building has been turned off. Required power and water. Let's just leave that for a minute. And then I want to look at the dome as a whole. I've got one vacant work slot, vacant residentials. That's fine. Uh, I've got people working in the infirmary, i got people working in the diner, i got people working in a research lab, and I've got people working there. So really I could do with more people in the research lab. I've got another farm out here, this has got six people working in it. Again, I don't think I need to have all of these people working on farms at the moment. So we'll take those six out. Now what have we got? we got six unemployed people, but if I go to this one... I can actually start that shift up there like that. Now, I've got three unemployed people there. This one up here, I've got Sector one scanned. vacant work slot. But what I can do is I can start another shift up there. And I don't know how people... Will they move? I think they do. i got two unemployed people here. I've got 23 or 42. This one's got 14 or 28. I think they move into the different areas. Um, sector F6 has been scanned. That one is scanning. So that one there has got 78 bits of um, material, uh, metal. That one's got 8. 5. Nothing at all. Let's add these into the scan list. Uh, deep scanning did seem to... Yeah, deep scanning did add something in, didn't it? So we take this one immediately scans the sector for deposits and anomalies. Available orbital probes. I have 4. So if I was to take this one, I don't think I've done that. So if I take that one there and I deep scan it, it hasn't given me anything. Pipe leak reported. Sure, if I should be worrying about that or not. Uh, sector G6 scan, no resources. We've got a pipe leak over there. That one will be on its way. Let's just check these domes again. So I got one unemployed person there, 22. I got 15. I got three vacant work slots. Yeah, so they are, they're coming up and they're filling in the work slots, which means that I've got more research going on up here. And the people aren't worrying about running these down here at the moment. We've got lots of food right now. I'll keep an eye on the food because I've still got people working here. I could start a second shift. Um, that would that would spread people out a little bit more. Um. That one there, I got, see, I got two people working on there. You can also, you can change, to, working on heavy workload will increase building performance, but inflict sanity and health penalties on the worker. So I don't know if I want to do that at the moment. Toggle overtime for all research labs. Hmm. Collaboration loss, 41. Why is there a collaboration loss? If I do that, it goes... You'd think the explorer had bit. found buried treasure the way our scientists were reacting. It was a sulfur-rich regolith. Explorer vehicle gathered various soil samples from far and wide around the anomaly site and fed us the data for hours. The telemetry was filled with buzzing chatter as the scientists at Mission Control discussed the implications of the element and made inventive plans about the future. 
The time of the expedition was limited and we urged them to make a final decision. Concentrate effort on gathering as many samples as possible as gives us an extra thousand research. Focus on geochemical analysis of the most sulfide rich samples, engineering research boost plus 10%. Um, I think we'll go for the research boost. I think that might be useful in the long run. Right, so we go to anomaly was successfully analyzed. Where is my dude? Where is he? He should be. Oh, no, he doesn't automatically go and replenish. So where is the, not the transport, the explorer? Battery is very, very low. Right, I need you. <laughs> He's very, very low on the battery. I need you to come over here onto that one right there. Should be on his way. Right, and then this one right here should be, he's got 32 metals on board. What is he doing? He should be, oh no, he's, he's still filling up because uh, the capacity, 30, I got 45 capacity on this one. Um, this one, we had an increased capacity on it, didn't we? So it takes 45 at any one time. And then once he's full, he should be on his way back down here. We've got a whole load of resources up there. So we can automate that bit, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've only got one metal down here, which is not great. Um, now, what else have we got? I'm still running on normal speed at the moment. I will speed, I'll will speed things up in a minute. I just wanted to sort of make sure that we got everything running really well at the moment. Um, we don't have any major issues going on. We've got, uh, like for example, we've got now vacant work slots. Uh, let's look at the colonists. We've got 16 colonists here. One child. I don't have any education or anything like that. Children will be born. The, dump, the dome is comfortable enough for children. Um, this dome here. Dome is comfortable enough for children. So if we were to have one dome that had the education stuff in it, would the children, uh, you know, the people with children move to the dome that's got the education resources and not move into the other one? I, I don't know how it works, so maybe that is how it works, maybe it isn't. Not quite sure, but yeah, we've people have now moved around, so I've got nobody's unemployed here, and nobody's unemployed up in the top one either. This has got four people working in the infirmary there. I've got two people working in the shop there, so people are able to do shopping. We've got research labs going on here, so 370 there. If I do that, that bumps that up. Collaboration loss. Does that mean, because I've got another one up here, this is what's causing the collaboration loss? Bump those up, like that. That gives me extra stuff. Uh, if I bump... The, well, I can't bump that one up, because we don't have anybody working there. But if I bump this one up, does that increase the amount of food, or what? Does it just increase the speed? I don't know what that one does, actually. Building performance 124. 104. I'm not going to leave, I'm not going to do very much on increased workloads, just because I don't want to take too many chances with it. Morale minus 10. Uh, morale plus 19, as enthusiastic as a scientist there, as a scientist. Um, morale plus 16, plus 13, plus 10. Right, so we got a lot of happy people working there. They're very pleased to be there. Then this one up here, we've got plus 31, 0. Oh, we got an engineer there, morale zero, brimming with enthusiasm, plus 20, wrong workplace specialization, minus 50. That's an officer there, and, and we've got another colonist working there, There's another scientist. So really, I need somewhere for an engineer. Where would an engineer work? They work in the, uh, the specialist places. Now, I need metals. I'm busy extracting metals from the surface at the moment. If I build a dome over here... I could just build one lot of houses. I don't need to worry about food, I don't think. I want to be able to harvest this. Rare metals. And rare metals, you don't do anything with them apart from sell them. Uh, they, they get loaded onto these ships over here, and they get transported back to Earth, um, and then they get sold. So, yeah, it just goes in right there. Gathering exports right there. That's the only thing that they do. They, they don't do anything else. Allow or forbid the exports of precious metals to Earth. If precious metals are exported, the colony will gain funding in exchange. And this one right here... Oh, it's rare metals. Is that the same as precious metals? You know, I'm not actually 100% certain on that. 
Uh, this deposit here may as well be dead. We don't have anything on that one. This one here has got... I can't actually see, but if we look at this one. It's got 867 there. This one here is dead. I need to destroy that one. And then once that one has been destroyed, we might be able to build another one. I think I need to build it out there and face over that bit for it to work properly. You've got stored waste rock, stored concrete. It doesn't actually say how much it's got, does it? I don't think it does. Um, I want to build another concrete extractor anyway. Blocking objects. Uh, oh, there's, there's a load of rock on the ground. No cable connection. That's fine. Cable connection is not a problem, but that factory is a problem. If I bring this one... Let's look over here a minute. I need to... I need to rotate it round. Right, I could, I could put it there. That is going to get me 52. I can put it there. It's 105 on there. Really, I want to put it... Actually, I'm not quite sure how I want to do this. I could swing it around like that, but they, this, actually, no, right there. If I go there, I think that's, I get 152 from that one. We're going to put it there, like that. I do need a cable connection, so I can do that in a minute. I can go for power, power cable, and, ooh, now, which way around do we do this? I might need to bring that one from there. It, it, yeah, uh, okay, we want to scrap that idea. I need to... I'm probably going to have to bring it all the way around like... No, I don't want to go through the patch either. I have to bring it all the way over here. I think this is about the only way to do it, unless I go out this way. Right, cancel that. Put it into there. Out to there. And into Cable there. Fault reported. Why aren't you joining together? I think that's how it needs to be done. There. Okay. I've got some cables going on. Um, vehicle with low power. Oh, you didn't make it back. Oh, dear. Now what? Right. Uh, set a name. How do I retrieve you? Destroy the rover. That's not good. You are up here. And you are low on... Right, I'm going to have to cancel your little road trip for a minute. And I'm going to bring you down here. And I'm going to set you onto this one over here. I'll do that. Charging battery from power grid. Now you, out of power. How can we... Is there a way that you can get power to these machines? This is something that I don't actually know. I'm going to have to find this out ready for next time um, to be able to figure that... Yeah, we, we have an sector issue there. Scanned. Oh, hang on. We've got a sector scan there. No resources. Buildable area 3%. No resources. Oh, that's just great. Research complete. And Milestone we... achieved. Ooh. Researched a breakthrough. Sol 385. Uh, I want to go to research tech in here. So that one is with superior bright pipes. Uh, busy working. Autonomous hubs. Drone hubs no longer require power or maintenance. Okay. Um, right, well, you're researching, so I'm going to go compact mass passenger. 3D machining. New building. Machine parts factory. Produces machine parts from metals. I'll go for that one next, actually, because I think that might be quite useful. And then we'll do that one, and then that one, and that one. Right. That, look, that looks good. I'm, I'm quite confident that this is going to be right. I'm also quite confident that it's probably not going to be right. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's speed this up a bit. So he's coming in and he's going to charge up. I'm hoping he makes this one here has not made it. But what I'm thinking is... Uh, hang on, we've got a malfunctioning cable right there, actually. And he's busy repairing it. He's fine. Um, I want to go to a power cable there, and I want to join it onto the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run a power cable out to this guy. Just like that. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. It may work, it may not. I don't know if this is going to work. If it does, absolutely wickedly cool, because it does mean that uh, he's able to be charged up right from where he is. We don't have to do anything else. Um... 
If it doesn't work, I don't really know. Now, can I send that guy back to his previous employment? I don't think I can. I think I gotta relay the grid for it. Now, what about you? I can't say charge. Can I vehicle inactive? Recharge. A remote controlled exploration vehicle that can out. I, I need you to I need you to be recharging. I selected. I I I need you I desperately need you to recharge. Um Building's not working. Yeah, that's because they're still doing the wires. That's fine. Um autonomous hubs, we've done that. Yep, close. Vehicles with low power, right. Uh I'm gonna try and Power cable. I'm going to try doing this. Look. I'm just building a loop around so that maybe that is in. I, I don't know. That might not. That might not work. That might be. I might just be like wishful thinking there. And there, the battery's charged on this one. That's good. So if I take this one up here a minute, I've got. Still got a load of resources up here. So we take this one here, create an automatic transport route. I need to load resource. If I put it there in the middle, I'm hoping that he'll gather all of that stuff around. And then we've got to do the unload resource. I come all the way down here. And I go back to my metal one right there. And I click on that one and he's away. So that... No! I cancelled it! Idiot Frith! Don't right-click to cancel. This game is not right-click to cancel. This game is left-click to cancel. Right. Load resource metal. And then come all the way down here to unload the resource metal. And you will be absolutely wonderful and, and really appreciated. There we go. And we put that one on there. And then I left-click to cancel that one. This one over here is not doing anything. I can't... I've lost it. A remote control vehicle that transports, commands, and repairs... I'm going to try and find a way to repair that one. It doesn't look like it's going to work like that. So we've got a bit of an issue there. You are a drone transport, so I'm not going to worry about you. Um, people, we have 16 in there, and we have 21 people over here. How many, what do we got? Uh, four adults, 17 middle-aged people. In here, I've got one child, nine adults, six middle-aged people. I don't think we need to worry about the nursery. And uh, I suppose we could just build a Cable nursery. Cable fault reported. Cable fault. Where? Uh, good. Oh, no. It's, it's right over here. That's fine. Um, yeah, that one doesn't seem to be working. I'm wondering if we should maybe change how things are doing. Right. Hourly production, 110. Total demand, 95.9. And if I look over here, that's exactly the same. Yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Right. Yeah, I was just looking to see that the grid is all connected. The, the entire grid does seem to be connected, which is a good thing. And I'm looking in here. Right. So the average comfort of all colonists living in this dome. Four colonists couldn't satisfy their interests. Social. No service building is available. The average morale of all colonists seems to be good. Average sanity is really high. And this one is good. Uh, this one here, one needs gaming. One wants luxury. One wants drinking for that particular dome. And morale seems to be okay-ish. So really, we want... I suppose we could do with a, like a, a social point. I suppose there's 21 of 42 in there. And there's 16 of 28 in there. I don't have enough colonists spare Sector to be able scan. to do other things. Pipe leak reported. Pipe leak. This, I'm supposed to have like awesome pipes now hang on life support uh, pipes is it is that all of it is those two medical center research microgravity medicine to unlock this building and then we got that one. yes uh, gaming casino complex gaming gambling social open-air gym exercise social security station Reduces sanity loss from disasters. Food shopping, luxury and shopping, shopping and gaming. So really, we could do an electronic store and an art workshop, and we can still avoid a casino. 
Um, but I'm not going to worry about either of them at the moment. Uh, dome, no, I don't want a dome at all. No, so the pipes, in theory, the pipes should be perfect. I shouldn't have problems with pipes because I had... Oh, no. No, I haven't yet, have I? I'm, I'm upgrading it. I'm busy researching it at the moment, but I don't yet have it. That would explain it. Um, okay. Do I want more... Co I think, really, I want more colonists. But before I get more colonists, I want to build a new thing. And now, do I go for this? I think I will go for this one. We will go for the, we'll go for the dome over here. I've got one vehicle there. That's just that one without power. Um, you are... Uh, where are you going? Oh, you're over there. Right, so you have brought back... Ooh. Okay, he's brought back a whole load of resources. He's doing absolutely wonderful. we got no issues there. Uh, don't know how much he's got. That's okay. So, yeah, what we want to do is... I reckon we want to build a new dome over here. It's a long way from the other domes. But I think that's going to be okay. We want to go here. So we've got 21 people there. We've got 16 people there. Because if you look back here on Earth, if we go for a passenger rocket, we got people. We got matching colonists, 15 of 68 colonists right now. So I can bring back 12 colonists. Let me just go back a minute. Actually, I could do that right now. Um, passenger rocket, I can bring back 12 colonists right now. Launch. There. There we go. See? Flight. 12 passengers with 120 food. In order to have that... Re hang on. Um, in order to switch down to the slower one. In order to have this ready, by the time they get here, I want a basic dome. And... Oh! That area there... Is that where it's got to be? It's got to be within that area in order to be able to work properly. I think it does. That's fine. Um, I can move that. I want to try and get it as close to those domes as possible, just so that they... I don't know how much stuff they share, but I think they do share some things. So we got that one there. I got... Here come the little drones. The drones are doing good. I could do some more drone hubs. We need those. Drone hubs there. Uh, boost scanning speed, especially for nearby sectors. Extends the advanced warning. And these stack. Sensor towers Research stack. Complete. They're very, very useful. Uh, I'm just going to dump that one down there a minute um, and then we want to go and look at the research in here so we've got now we've got the pipes instant and free pipe construction pipes don't suffer from leaks pressure induced self-healing coating with remarkable insulation properties has been developed and field tested to be used on mass on our pipe system brilliant we won't get any more pipe leaks that's really really good uh, microgravity medicine is one up there this one here is Martian patents um, supportive community lowers the risk of colonists developing flaws after a sanity breakdown, which is brilliant. So we will add that one in as well. There. Yeah, we got uh, normal speed at the moment. Yeah, it was a, I wanted another drone hub. Now, that is our current drone hub, um, like, overlaps. And you do actually want to be overlapping the drones. From what I've seen on uh, instructionals, playthroughs... Oh, I haven't actually watched any playthroughs, but what I've seen on various tips and stuff, tips and tricks, that sort of thing, having them overlapping is giving you a lot of uh, extra redundancy. Uh, so if one breaks down, you you what you want to do is you want to plan them out so that any drone hub that breaks down, it's not going to leave an area that is not covered by a drone hub. So by putting that one there, I've got the entire area still covered by a drone hub. And that is, that is an important thing to do, because uh, ju just in case something happens, your meteor strike or something uh, ends up completely obliterating it. Um, it's not all going to be, it's not going to be the complete end of the day, um, uh, end of the world or anything like that. Uh, we'll bring that one in, which way around does that go? You know, I can't actually remember, so we, we won't do that until this hub here has been constructed. Once the hub has been, so we got um, metals 20, polymers 10. Do I have polymers? Um, yes, I do. I've got plenty of polymers. The drones are coming over. They they go. There's quite a long distance for them to go in order to get to bring all the stuff down here. I'm not going to have a great deal of stuff down in this dome. I need to be able to build this one. That's why I'm building this dome. I really hope that I'm close enough. Uh, is there a way to check it? Uh, rare metals extractor. Yes, I can. See, too far from dome. So it's, it's that uh, area that we said. If I put it there, uh, place, cancel, press, rotate, available resource for 543. None. 
I see. It's just got to be somewhere nearby, Sector and then it's fine. Scanned. No resources on Sector G4. And we've got that sector scanning as well. I'm going to go. I think we'll just sort of keep... I mean, I've got some long-range ones down here that I want to get, but we've got to find out how to recharge that one. I don't know if I can. I may not even be able to. That might be something that we've now lost forever. We have lost this one over here because I greedily went and scanned first before doing anything else. How are you doing up here for resources? Oh, you are finished. There are no more resources. Right, yeah, we uh, there's no more resources in that area that I told him to work on. He's in this one. He's got 48 left. That one's got nothing. That one's got 5. That one's got 19. I'm going to bring him over here a minute. Let me go back over to you. And we've got five somewhere. Is that one? There. Let me get those. Is he coming over? Yeah, he's on his way. So if I click on that, that is... Oh, that's 13. So where's the five? There's another, There's five resources somewhere in one of these sectors. Oh, I've, got, I've gone too far. No, it's that one there. So somewhere in this sector, there are five resources. I don't know. That'd be great if you could tell me. Oh. Is it... Half of that one? What's that one over there? I think it's half of that one. If I zoom out, this one here has got eight, and that one's got five. That would make 13, yeah. <laughs> it's just those two. So we'll let him come over, and we'll grab those, and then I'll send him back over here. I've got a little stack on that one, which is six. And then there's a little stack on... Well, that doesn't actually seem to be metal. That's metal. That's got 20 on that one. And then this one here has got 41. So I can get him to go and get that bit, and then that bit up there. And then we'll be able to bring him in, and he'll do the rest. Uh, the dome down here has currently got three of eight concrete. Are they going to bring the rest of it in? They're going very... I'm going to have to speed this up, I think. We'll whiz that along a little bit faster. We've got... Cable fault reported. Uh-oh. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Right, they're, they're, they'll work on that. That will be fine. So how are our people doing? Average morale is okay-ish. We... Uh, I need gaming. I need gaming and I need social. They want drinking as well. And then these guys up here, they're fine. And they're fine. Right, so those guys up there are absolutely fine, but it's these in here. These these are the troublemakers in here. Um, we've got four gaming colonists and four social. What does... If I go to here a minute... No, I don't want electronics factory. I want to go to... Um, no, no. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, that is shopping and gaming. We've got dining, social... Well, yeah, because they got social... If you have a diner, um, that takes care of the social aspect. Uh, space bar is relaxation drink. I'm not worried about the drinking. I mean, I could do a casino. Oh, I do have a gambler, but that would be social. That's gambling. That's get luxury gaming and social. It takes care of all of it. But I need nine workers to put. Eat, well, just three to even get like the basics of it, which I'm thinking is not necessarily the best thing. Whereas this one needs. Right, excuse me. Uh, Sector yeah. scanned. Ooh. Sect scanned, still no resources. This one here only needs three workers in total. It does do shopping and it does do gaming, but it doesn't do the social. I, I could really do the social. That one is uh, the art museum, is luxury and shopping, um, shopping and gaming, food and shopping. So here we got shopping. So the uh, yeah, the, the social, uh, social is what I need. Casino. Oh, open air gym. Maybe that's it. I could do social there. That doesn't actually require anything at all, but it requires an awful lot of space. The only problem is this one does require a massive amount of space. It may be more space than I'm willing to give up. Yeah. We'll see. I have another rocket coming in. I have a rocket ready to land. This one here, Liberty, is ready to land with 12 passengers. This one here is ready to go. Uh, you have got 7 of 20, 6 of 10... You're not ready to unload yet, but, I mean, people, they, they do change to the different domes, so I think we'll be okay, so I can, ready, that one can land, uh, he can land there, and then this one here, carry supplies, right, Perseverance is 
fully unloaded and it's refueled so you can go back to Earth. We'll let that one go. Uh, vehicles with low power is still just that one there. Um, this RC rover is over there. This is the RC transport. It's the one that I got. Right, so you have now got 13 metals on board. And if I zoom out, I would like New to bet... colonists have yeah, arrived. That's what it was. It was over the edge of the, the two of them. Uh, underground metals, 858. Brilliant. Metals, 19. Metals, 48. Nothing. Metals, 23. Okay, we go up to here. And I want that one to come up, and I want it to load that lot right there. And I'm just going to come off of that one a minute. So we've got arriving colonists over here. Twelve more colonists have arrived. Absolutely fantastic. Now, what have we got? Do we have anybody homeless? We've got 33 people in here. Uh, 11 people unemployed. Vacant residential slots. Disabled work slots, 11. Uh... I need to take care of the employment first. So let me go to this one. I could do an extra work shift on there. I got one person there that is not working. Uh, not Cable working in an ideal situation. There, the infirmary is full. That's fine. This one here is absolutely fine. Uh, morale plus 10. No specialization. That's fine. I can put in another person there. So then in this dome, we have... Oops. Sector scanned. Six unemployed people. No resources. Uh, so if I got six unemployed people, I need to think about what we're going to do. So do I do, do I go for a casino complex? A lot of these people, I'll cut them back. No, I'm not going to. I got that. Um, the only thing that I can't do is gaming at the moment. Um, that is something that I'm going to live with. It's yeah. I, I think we can live with that. So the average morale there. One colonist. Um, no social. You know, that's the, the gym. Gaming is one. What about you over here? Gaming, luxury, yes. Yeah. So they, they do move around quite a bit. So I, I don't actually want to be filling all of that up just yet. I've got 15 of 20 on metal. Metals, uh, we're just waiting on the last of the metals now. And then that will be done. Um, I'm going to go whizzing back up here. I've got you. Uh, hang on a minute. How much have we got on that one? That's got 20 Cable on it. Fault reported. You've got 19, so I'll send you over to here and you will gather up those. And then we will come down here. We've got a cable fault over there. That's fine. It will soon repair that one without any problems. I do have an awful lot of rock lying around at the moment, so I need another dump point for that. I have been told reliably and faithfully that there are more dumping points that we will uh, there's stuff that we can do with the waste rock later on we will be able to use the waste rock we'll be able to do things with it fear not it's not going to be completely and totally wasted uh i can put that one oh i can just fit it in there right so we put another one there i'll be able to have a, a group of them there and another group of them up there to keep all of the concrete things running and we've got down here i just need two more metals as soon as I get two more metals down here, we are good to go. I've got a drone hub down there. i got drones working on here, but they're not doing a great deal. So, how do you move the drones? Um, recall a drone, dismantle it into a drone prefab. Oh, I don't want to do that. Change priority of all drone hubs. Deactivate. I think you can move them around. So, like, this one has got some drones. Oh, no! So, it... The drones just kind of keep turning up. They've Each one has got a set amount of drones working on it, hasn't it? Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. Um, construction in progress. There we go. Right. The So that's... Yeah, the bits that stick out are where the power and stuff goes in. So there's where the power and stuff goes in, like over there. So then what I can do is... Oh, hang on a minute. Is that actually... Oh... No, they... Uh, hang on. No, no. The, the, the drones, they don't need power anymore, do they? I don't need to run that cable out. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Um, if I go to here, that one there, drone hubs no longer require power or maintenance. So we I don't need that power shortage. coming out. We have a water shortage. We have a power shortage. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I think we'll be all right. I think we will cope. So I want to take, I don't actually need that, I mean, I'm going to keep the cable there because I'm going to run an extension from that cable right now. 
Um, but we go to cable there, and then I take it off of that one, and I run straight up through. And I actually run it there like that, and then I'll run it into there like that. So I've got the cable coming up through, and then if I bring this around, oh, I'm actually going to need a supply Research of water. Oh, I think water comes out of here. You got the grid cable stored. Fault reported. Uh, 3D machining. Dome without power, that's fine. Malfunctioning cable, that's fine. That'll be um, taken care of. Hourly demand, total demand, 450. Uh, oh, hourly production, 1.7 on the water grid. Total demand, 1.7. Uh, what have I got over here? That's all the same. Yeah, so it does... The, the water does actually go through the domes. It doesn't just stop on the side of the dome. It, um, it passes through the domes and it becomes part of all of the same water system. I've got this over here. It's all part of the same water grid. Everything's the same. Yeah. So what I can do from here is I can actually take a water pipe. I need to go to that one there and then I can go to pipe like that. And I want to take a pipe there. Over to there. And I'm going to run it along this uh, cable. Run it along there, and I want to bring it into that side. Oops. There, like that. Right. And the pipes are now instant, and they don't break down. There's no issues whatsoever with any of the pipes at all. What I will do, because I've now got the water and everything over here, I'm now going to build a spare water tower over on this side, which I will do right there. I think that will allow me for a connection. Um, I'm also going to build a... I've got a water tower. Uh, right, I want these. I want two moxies and I want an oxygen tank over here next to this dome so that we've got extra connections. So I'm going to put one here and then... Oop, auto saving. There we go. And I'll get another moxie which I'm going to put... Bring that one round a minute. Uh, where do I put this other one? I might want to... Do I want to rotate it? I think I want... No, I don't want to put it there because it's on the end. It's not going to have it. It's there that I want to put it. So that i got one pipe that goes right into the middle right there. I think that's how I need to do it. Yes, that one will go there. And it will join onto there. Right. That should join in to those two, and then I've also got a uh, water tower down here, which is an extra bit of um, water. I, mean, I guess you don't really need to have them like that, but I'm, I'm doing this just for safety's sake. And I'll put that one down there. Does that need power? I don't know if it needs power. I don't think it needs power. I don't know if those need... They, they might need power, I'm not sure. We'll soon find out, but yeah, because of where I put it, it's automatically joined straight in. Um, hourly production, 5. Total demand, 2.8. So the production's gone up just while it's filling up this tank here. But it's not actually going to do anything else. Research um, complete. Yeah, I'm currently playing at 3 times speed, aren't I? Right, so let's go to the compact passenger module is the one that we just... So we've now got drone printing as robotics we got that one there. We can go back through. So we've got microgravity medicine, which is a big bonus. We've got smart home, new buildings, smart homes, uh, provides a very comfortable living space for colonists. Residents will recover sanity when resting. That's excellent. I may even do it before I do that one. I'll do it that way around. That would be good. Right, close that. We've got more buildings being built over here. And then in here, we have got some extras. Now... How do I do this? This this is the, the next scan. question. I want some homes. We've got smart homes there and smart complex. We've got apartments. Provide living space. Cramped quarters grant less comfort during rest. Residential space 24. Residential space 14. I'm going to go for the comfortable living quarters. Until I have to do otherwise, I will go for comfortable living quarters. So let's put that one in there. Like that, and I'll do another comfortable living quarters right next to it. In there. And now, down in here, uh, I think I got to have the infirmary in with them. And maybe just somewhere to buy food. A grocer. 
yeah, the various services I think have got to be inside the dome. So if I was to go for uh, Martian University nurseries, no, we don't want any of that. Dome services. If I go for an infirmary in here, like that, and then I go for a grocer in here, like that. There's two small ones there. So we've got a grocer for food and we've got an infirmary, which helps with the sanity issue. What else could we... Well, I tell you what, we can go for a bit of beautification, can't we? We can do a garden area. If I build a garden area over this side, then we've got somewhere that they can go and they can rest and relax and so on and so forth. Um, everybody will be happy. Every, everybody will think this is absolutely wonderful. The Oh, no, they can't go on there. That one can go in the middle. Um, and then I can go for a... Let's go for some more alleys up there, shall we? Let's try it like that. There we go. They can walk in around there. It looks wonderful. It's very nice. That requires zero maintenance as well. So we've got some residential places down here. Nobody's living here at the moment. That's fine. Um, food will be able to be brought in. We've got food over here. We've got food coming out of our ears. I mean, look at this. This one's got 63 food on board. i got two food areas that are completely crammed full. And I've got more food being made at all times. This dome right here has got three unemployed people. And this dome up here has, has got some disabled work slots, but it's fine. Um, you've got uh, one child and one youth up there. I've got no education. I'm wondering if this is a bit of a problem. Colin is here. I got another child there. I could do some education in here, but how much? What, what does it cost in the way of um, nursery there? Residential. It doesn't actually take up anything. Neither does the playground. The school. See, residential space, Martian University, um, um, no, not domes, uh, dome services, so, you know, yeah, see it says how many workers it takes, whereas these don't take workers. So I can put the nursery there, and I could put a playground there, but I don't think I can put a school in, I think the school is, yeah, the school is a big area. Look at this one. So I got a nursery there, so I might actually, if I could bring the school, if I could put a school down in this one, um, maybe they will move to the school and they'll um, send them to school down here. I, I, I have no idea how it works. I, I really don't. Uh, but what we will do is I will then go to production here. I don't want a drone assembler, research drone printing to unlock this building. Well, uh, no, no, we haven't done that yet. Rare metals extractor, polymer factory, uh, electronics factory. Machine parts factory, fuel refinery, see we get all of these. Rare metals extractor, this is money. This is, this is good money that we'll be able to get. So what does is, what is the grid do? That's just from what it's able to extract, isn't it? If I put that one down there, I'm going to need a power source to that one. Uh, we'll let that... Well, I've got power there. I can actually just take power straight out of the dome because it will run through the dome. So I've got unemployed people over there. I got colonists. I got one colonist here. So that one there has, hasn't got anybody. That one there doesn't have anybody either. Uh, zero there. Uh, one res Oh, I got a resident. Ah, there we go. Look, there's a resident on their way. Um, Slow down. Pause. You can click on him. There we go. Elmer Simpson. Elmer Simpson, a trained security officer protecting our utopia. But what's the good of you? Unemployed and homeless. Uh, okay, well, Mr. Unemployed and Homeless, you come running on over here. We've got uh, all sorts of things for you. We, we, we can help you. Right, now, these do require power. So let's just spin around like that, and then I can go... Oh, did I just send Homer to go and stand out there? I hope I didn't. No, I don't think I did. Um, I want to go to power. I want to go to power cables, and I want to build some power cables through here like this. That's all I need to do. There. Uh, I will connect those on round like that, just in case. I think I need to worry about that, but just in case, I will worry about it. And now I've got two colonists in here. I've got two people working in that one. I don't have anybody working in that one. I don't have any specialists in here either. Uh, those are busy building. I reckon that these up here will now have been constructed. So I've got this one here. I've got colonists. If I look in the nursery... Oh, uh, comfort of residences. Colonists living in this building. 
Why are you living there? Sector scanned. Anomaly I'm found. I'm not sure what that means. Right, yeah, I do know what the sector scan means. Um, that's fine. I'll tell you what I will do in a minute. Zoom out. I'm going to zoom back in. I had a little thing that we were doing over here. Now, if I take you, mister, and I go to that one, and then I load... No, 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 no. I want to go load resource. I want to go metals. And then I want to come down here like this, and we go to that one right there, and then I unload resource, and then that's set up. So he's got... He'll bring down some more resources when we need them. Um, well, not when we need. He's just going to bring them down. You have run out, so we can dismantle you, destroy the building. We'll be refunded a little bit of salvages. And then we can get him going again. There we go. And then I will destroy it completely. And we'll build another concrete extractor. Maybe a little bit later. We don't actually need to worry about it at the moment. But I'm running out of time for today. What have we got in this dome? we got three people living in this dome. I've got a school down there. So I'm hoping that maybe some school people will turn up. Uh, this dome here has got 30 people. There are no unemployed. i got one child here. This one up here has got a youth and a child. The playground doesn't say anything at all. Inside, lifetime, nothing at all. But this one here, residence, one of eight, provides living space for children. Oh, I see. Right. So the, the kids just live there. That's where the kids live instead of somewhere else. So I could also build a nursery in here. It's not going to take up space. I didn't realize it was where the kids lived. That's actually pretty cool. Right, well that just that makes it, it just makes it a lot easier. So we have nursery provides living space for children. Um, rotate, plonk you in there. Hang on a minute. If that's living space for children, well, what about the, what does the school do? School cultivates desired perks in children using modern remote learning techniques. So maybe I should put the nursery down here and not have anything else down here. I should and, and no nurseries elsewhere. If I have. Maybe that's what I should be doing. I'm not sure about that. I'm not... Oh, vehicles with low power. This is not good. Um, you are... Well, you're actually empty at the moment. Um, are you able to refill? What have you got? you got 30. If you can refill all of those metals, he shouldn't go back up. Oh, this, this, this is dangerous. I got 30. I got 30. But anyway, I've, I've run out of time. I'm going to have to carry on with this next time so if you enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later